Hello, let's fuck. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fortune. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> no, I said let's fuck, not let's sound like Donkey Kong. Uh, Jason Amherst. <laughs> and Billy Carter. Wiener. Wiener is Billy Carter. Wiener is correct, sir, yes. Uh, yeah, minimal's fine. We're playing Quake, uh, so yeah, I gave up on uh, Project Warlock 2 in the previous episode of Backseat Gamer, as you might have no doubt seen. And uh, this is the Night Dive remake, so this also has the two mission packs that were released, which I've never played, so this will be very, very interesting. Uh, yeah, so I think... Is there anything else? Probably not. Alright, let's get into it. Yep, look at all the fucking... Oh my god, there's so many. Alright, cool. I am down for this. Quacky. I love Quacky. He's a little floaty. Hold on a second. You like Farquack? Always run... I do like Farquack. Why? He was your favorite villain in the Shrek movies. Yeah. Lord Farquack. It's true. <laughs> Everybody should like Farquack. Oh, I need to rebind, jump to my right mouse button. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, jump, right mouse button, and then let's do. Oh, no, yeah, right. no, grappling hook. Yolnir. Oh, that must I, be in I the DLC. You, <laughs> That's to say. I sent you a uh, screenshot, Billy, of the uh, characters in the in that uh, beat 'em up. Okay. It's it's uh, Omaru Polka, Shishiro Botan, Yukihana Lami, and Momosuzu Nene. You say Unjammer Lami? Yeah, but that hurt too. And yeah. Shinene from Martin? <laughs> Martin. Oh, no. <laughs> Shinene Martin. from Martin. Listen. Listen, you idiot. That's good, you be ba booba. <laughs> Oh, Stimpy. <laughs> oh, Simpy. <laughs> oh, Simpy. I just saw a clip, actually, of uh, the episode of uh, Red and Stimpy where they were wrestlers. Oh, that, that one's... Yep. I like the yell, too! <laughs> I like you! <laughs> hey, it's time to throw the fight. Lord Quad damage. Quad. Explode in half. Nope, not yet. Alright. What about you? Explode. Yeah! Love it when you explode. Yeah. <laughs> Double barrel. Shotgun. Best weapon in the game. Usually and then also the nail gun is also good. Shotgun. Oh, nice. I like nice the nail. Yeah, that's well. They Trent Reznor made the soundtrack for this game. Oh, oh or, yeah, yeah. More correctly, it's credited to Nine Inch Nails, but yeah, he made the soundtrack to this game. <laughs> Bump crack, take a little poopy. As a matter of fact, if you search on streaming services, you'll find the full album under Nine Inch Nails' discography. Interesting. Yeah. Brett Reznor took a big ol' poopy. What the? F hook yeah. versus hook. He didn't do the soundtrack Rich for uh, Quake 2 because he says, and I quote, this game has no atmosphere. That's what he said about Quake 2. Which I kind of disagree. It has an atmosphere. It's different from the from Quake 1. It just wasn't the his liking. That's That's all. Correct. It was still good. 
scooter, your scooter, your lovely baby shooter. <laughs> My lovely lady loves. <laughs> the screen's all wibbly. Yeah, it's because I'm underwater. That's how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell I've played the game a time or two? <laughs> so I know where everything is. Yeah. At least in the first episode, I'll remember where everything is. As we go on, that will not. Time. Yeah. As we go on in this show, that will be less and less likely to happen. So um, I was gonna say I, you, you found the secret area earlier. Yeah, I even got the achievement for it. Uh, Achieve Mo's. Hooray. Ah shit. Oh no. It's alright. I fix. I was trying to jump up onto the those, but I don't I don't wanna try I don't wanna sacrifice any more health. I'm good. I think it's just a mega health anyway. You know what I find funny about shooters back then? It was a lot of them were just floating weapons in front of you. Now they gotta show the hands and if you look down you see your ch chest and your feet. Wow. Realism in a video game. That's fucking I mean, sad. Yeah. I mean, seeing your Where's feet Where's my kinda, penis? Seeing your feet is kind of necessary if they decide to throw, uh... uh first of all, some, uh, I can't see my feet in real life. What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> Mike hasn't seen his wiener in six years. Which is long <laughs> enough to declare it legally dead. Find your penis! Find your penis, one dollar, find your penis! I'm gonna turn up the oh, brightness oh, just oh, slightly here. Ooh, field of view. That's a that's good to know. Kawaita Sakebiga Oh wait, no, that's not field of view, never mind. Whoa, that's a little too bright. Dif different different Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Let's go uh brightness of ten, that should do. Okay, that's better. I was watching Rama one half the other day. Ah, classic. Forgot how weird that show is. Everybody dying in various drowning springs uh, so that they get weird curses. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I, I drowned in this. I, I, I fell into the spring of the drowned panda. Now I turned into a panda. Oh. Uh, I fell into the spring of the drowned girl. Now I now I'm transgender. I, whenever I get splashed with water, Rama, yeah. Rama half was ahead of its time. I mean, like that is that is hardcore non-binary action right there, yeah. you know. But he, whenever it happens to him, he's like, "Oh God, I hate this." I think the actual term would be uh, gen gender fluid. Yeah. Well, he did fall into fluid. Yeah, and it changed his gender. So <laughs> he fell. He, he fell, fell into the gender, gender fluid. fluid. Yeah. He fell into <laughs> literal gender fluid. Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> what are you? What are you guys talking about? Random one the half. Anime. A really old anime from yeah. the nineties. Even yeah. I know. Even I. I'm not even an anime person, and I know what it is. <laughs> the running joke of it is. If he gets splashed with cold water, he literally turns into the opposite sex. Yeah. Yeah, because because there was a place in China where they were practicing martial arts that was a series of cursed uh, springs where things had drowned. And if you fell in the water, you were cursed by it. And yeah. so the main character fell into the spring of the dr drowned girl and thus transforms into a girl when splashed with water. So that's why we were making and, the uh, joke that it was gender fluid. And and the grandfather uh, fell into the spring of the drowned panda and is stuck as a panda. Quad damage. Hey, yeah, he can't turn back. Explode, yeah. bitch. Explode, bitches. Some of the early episodes are kind of perverted, but it kind of calms down later on in the series. All right, get ready to see the fiend for the first time. The, the worst, fiend. the worst enemy in this fucking game. But Bray Wyatt. But the, in this game? I was gonna say Bray Wyatt uh, passed away, and he's a pushover. Well, on easy, he's wow. a pushover. Not so much on uh, higher difficulties, especially. I think on hard and nightmare, there's like two or three of them. 
<laughs> I like that generic cartoon sound effect for that portal. Yep. I've always liked that. Pretty sure this is the exit door. Knights oh, are pushovers uh, too because they they don't have any fucking long range attacks. Hey, Billy, have you seen the uh, uh, ad for the Homestar Runner puppet plush that they sell now? No, I haven't. It's really uh, amazing. That... But it's also kind of hilarious because, like, the joke is the, it's the talk it yourself, Homestar Runner puppet plush. Talk it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the the commercial starts off with a guy doing a bad Homestar impression, and it's like, <laughs> do you know somebody who does bad Homestar impressions? I we we so don't know. We guys, are you talking to me? <laughs> and then he gives him the plush. <laughs> Oh, it's cracks. Like, They're annoying as well. Let's, let's do something far less annoying now. And then switch I'll, I'll, over I'll, to uh, the actual Homestar Runner voice. On the, the uh, on harder difficulties, you'll encounter a Shambler here for the first time. I will be right back. We will see a Shambler you have a little to, bit later. Uh, you have to encounter uh, Jerry, uh, Gary Chandler. What? G Gary, Gary Chandler? G Gary Chandler. This is a theme to Gary show. The theme to Gary show. <laughs> Gary called me up and said, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gary Shandler. I didn't actually say that. that that's No, not... <laughs> Gary Shandler, not Gary Shandling. Gary Shandling is a, was a very nice human being <laughs> and a hilarious one to boot. Gary Shandler, on the other hand. Gary Shandler, on the other hand, is a monster. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking eat your balls. And not in the way that R. Kelly is a monster. Just a literal monster. <laughs> you all kill me with this shit. You all killing me with this shit. I'm gonna go piss on somebody. Yo, what? Oh, damn. Is that like the first promotional picture for freaking uh, Sonic 3? Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Or, or is that promotion for like a new Sonic game? Or something, because there, there's some sort of evil hedgehog lurking in the background of this image, but it's clearly the the Sonic Knuckles and Tails from the movie. I'm like, is is that supposed to be Keanu? The cat from the Keanu Peel movie? No, like Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow the Hedgehog in the upcoming Sonic Three movie. I mean, <sighs> you can't get much more on the nose casting than that, I'd say. I am Keanu Shadow. I mean, he is he's I am, literally just I am Keanu, John Wick Hedgehog. Keanu the Hedgehog. All right. Darn. Whoa. Heavy. Maria! I will avenge you with these guns. <laughs> and I'm, fucking, after that, me, me and Sonic are going to... Me, Sonic, and Knuckles are gonna form a band called Wild Stallions. Woo. <laughs> I would, I, I, I don't know, but I think I would pay to see good money to see a Sonic the Hedgehog recreation. Money, yeah. A Sonic the Hedgehog recreation of Airheads. You, you call yourselves the Lone Rangers? Hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's at some convention right now. <laughs> and Jim Carrey oh. has the beat. You know what? So I'm Jason. looking forward to seeing Jim Carrey as Fat Robotnik. Me too. Yeah. On video uh, game topic. Why does he have to be have, fat? Uh... Because he hasn't been fat yet. Oh. Apparently they're, put, they're doing a uh, Fat Thor thing, but with Robotnik. I'll make love to you till I'm Thor. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, so you know, on the topic of video games, have yep. you seen the new Assassin's Creed um, commercials? Yeah, you know, I'm kind of like torn because this is Westerners who right, don't know shit Natalie about Japan. You're Natalie and Well, I mean, they're they're basing it off of the actual Black Samurai that was. Yeah, but. But at the same time, like, 
They're not even using the right swords for the time period. That's true. Katana were not used in the Sengoku era. Katana is a Mortal Kombat character. No, I'm just kidding. N no, Katana, not Kitana. Oh, <laughs> <Special> mom. <laughs> God, God. Not <laughs> Katana Baker, the woman who was in the, the Bud Light pillow fight at WrestleMania 19. That's oh, a fucking hit. Yeah. That's an esoteric Deep reference. Deep cut. Yeah, that. <laughs> Deep cut. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. No. No. Oh. All right. Here's a new show that I'm looking forward to. Um, it's called Snack Basu. It looks funny. Yo, oh, I I heard about that one. That isn't that the anime that takes place at like a bar. It, a karaoke bar. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's it's very Japanese, and this is coming from uh, someone well, who yeah. studied the culture. Like you know, also it, another one coming out. My ow. new boss is Goofy. That's great, but what's the name of it? No, I I watched that one too, and I just I felt like that was a poor title choice. He's not Goofy. He's just like absent-minded, kind of like he, he, I just ah I, shit. Like Joel and I were literally watching that first episode and going. Shit. This title was a misnomer. What the hell? You even thought he'd been like, <laughs> oh, God damn it, meanwhile, stop. Minded boss. Meanwhile, I'm looking forward to next season plus sized elf. Uh, <laughs> her and her <laughs> lovely lady lump. Ah! Stop falling off uh, the platform. God damn it. Lots, it was, uh, lots of. Uh, uh, manga, I got yeah, lots of big old fat, shiny elf titties. There, fuck it. I, um, th no, there's, there's a, um... Break out the bonk sticks. Yes. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There's a, uh, oh. the, uh, uh, manga I gotta get. Bonk. It's called Tenjin Hero War. <laughs> Tenjin Hero Wars. Huh. I gotta get that. Nobunaga. Okay, so is, uh, apparently the that secret exit is apparently only in the N64 version. <laughs> also, uh, av available in September of this year, Jace, H.P. Yep. Lovecraft, The Call of Cthulhu manga. Huh. Oh, uh, Kingdom Hearts is finally coming to Steam. What? Yeah. After being console exclusive for oh, no, nah, it's been on years? Epic Game Store for like the past three years. Oh, all right. But now it's coming to Steam and getting an exclusive uh, Keyblade for the Steam version in Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh. Well, oh. now I, I might have to get Paramount Plus because apparently there's a whole fucking miniseries documentary about the history of Lollapalooza. Oh, Lollapalooza? 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 You know what, Mike? Yes. Lola Fanane. Whatever the fuck you just said, sure. <laughs> why are you so indignant? Why are you so... I didn't... Why are you acting like I paped the rope? <laughs> <laughs> reload! Reload! That's reload! Not a... Re reload! You know, they're reloading is not a thing in this game. It's not... This isn't the Call of Duty. <laughs> Uh, all right, here's from that that um, that hero Tenjin, or that Tenjin hero, war hero mm. uh, manga that's coming out, or is out right now. It, it, Nobunaga is one of the characters. It says, uh, I got uh, Otaku Magazine, so there's some inserts. Oh, wow. It says, you it says I'm you, Oda Nobunaga. You Magazine, got it. Otaku Magazine. Me, yeah, you, 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 you Magazine. Yeah, sure, whatever. You're no talk. It says uh, I'm <laughs> older. Subscribe to Weebly Monthly. <laughs> we yeah, Weebly we Monthly. <laughs> we Weebly is a website builder. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's true. It <laughs> true. says I'm Oba. I says I'm Oda Nobunaga. It says, do folks from the future know about me? No. Nope. <laughs> that's what he says. <laughs> don't know who I the fuck said, you are. Uh, nerds, nerds do. <laughs> okay. Billy, you are going to get a laugh out of this picture. All right, I gotta, then I gotta take a look at it, then. Uh, I'm gonna laugh. Let, let I'm gonna laugh. This. I'm gonna. 
You're gonna laugh. You might fart. Scare yourself a little bit. Yep. You, you might achieve. You might uh, achieve erection. <laughs> right, are you sending me this on Facebook? Facebook. Okay. All right. Let me go to my messenger here. Okay. My messenger here. Had to share it in backseat gamer. So you you'll get the pun right away. Hmm. 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 Mm. Yes, indeed. Mm. Yes, quite. <laughs> I'm Karen Logan. <laughs> 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 okay, I am just gonna assume whatever was said was fucking hilarious. Cause, cause, cause the anime is Gurren Lagann. I, but, but it's Logan. I don't, I can't see the image. I'm not on Facebook right now. Kind of, it, it's, it's kind of, kind of in got, the middle of something here. <laughs> it's Wolverine, but he's got big anime sunglasses. I have big anime sunglasses, Greg. The, you, the drill you, that pierces you, the heavens! Would you milk me? <laughs> also yes. known as my dick. <laughs> okay. Man. <laughs> I've got that version too. Man. There you go. I, I just like the the oh. Mias. <laughs> Mias, can I speak to your manager? Can I speak to your manager? No, fuck off. <laughs> nope. Jesus. Choke on a scrot. Choke on a scrotum, Karen. Choke on a giant scrot, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Choke on a scrot, Karen. That's what I said. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> uh, sorry, the sound clip does it better. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I wish I'd have found the rocket launcher in the last level. So oh my god! Jump. Holy shit! So something I learned about Quake is that the uh, splash damage in this is kind of not as bad as it is in other games, and that's why rocket jumping is kind of a thing. Oh, like in uh, Team Fortress 2. Yeah, pretty much. Team Fortress 2, well, a lot of games that came after Quake take Quake as an inspiration, so... Yeah. Team Fortress 2. I mean, Half-Life is made on a modified Quake engine, so... You have this game to thank for pretty much every first-person shooter past 2001. Thanks, Quay. You're welcome. I, that's, <laughs> I imagine that's what it sounds like. It sounds like Grover on drugs? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Precisely. Can you talk to Jen, John? John? <laughs> I don't sound like that. Ah. That doesn't sound like that. <laughs> Here's it. I am going to tell you the difference between near ODing and from OD. <laughs> now I have a rocket launcher. Alright, so I'm going to go do a thing here. And boom! Oh, I didn't quite make it. It's alright. I'll do it again. See how little the damage that took though off of me? There we go. Made it. Ooh, you were so spot. Yeah. Am I though? I'm down to 46. Oh, no, damn. You found a speed grid? Thank God I had quad damage. Oh. That shambler did not stand a chance. Shambled over there. This is he the theme like to the Shambler show. The theme to Shambler show. He looked like the Yet Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier when we were playing Project Core. Uh, uh, the, the, the like a few episodes ago in Project, Project Warlock War. Two, 
is that there's an enemy, enemy in that game that looks a lot like the Shambler in this game. And it's even called the Shambler, oh. so... Mm. So, the Jace, have you ever... Yep. So, Jace, have you ever wanted to drink out of a cup shaped like Alphonse's helmet? What? From Full Metal Alchemist? Like, like a like a mug shaped like a helmet? It's a cup shaped like his helmet, yes. Huh. Oh, my. It's about, um, $53, though. Holy crap. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to have a bust of Macho Man Randy Savage where you could put Slim Jims? Yeah, actually, I do. Well, I, I saw uh... that. I want it. <laughs> I want it. Yeah, my local convenience store just had that sitting on a shelf, but I'm like... I, I wish that this was for sale and not the Slim Jims. <laughs> it's it's only a hundred and thirty-five dollars on eBay. Only. 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 Oh, uh, so I got a couple of uh, new pieces of VTuber merch that I picked up. Uh, they yeah. showed up finally from uh, Makeship. Yeah. Um, good ship. One's uh. uh One's uh, Calliope Mori on a deadbeat. Hmm. And the other one is uh, a glow-in-the-dark uh, Cyber Nyanko Kason. Kason. Yep. Oh, they're, they got a Kaiju number eight uh, action figure coming out. I'm going to need that for a nice 3D reference for making that costume. Mm, it's it's from SH Figure Arts, so you know it's going to be good, yeah. very poseable. So you're going to be able to see every little detail, except it's probably going to be sixty five bucks for the thing. Uh, you'll be able to see every detail, including the pissing nipples. Um, what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a joke in what? That was a that was a joke I think in episode two, and I love that it was mm -hmm. in there. It was in the first uh, manga too. Did, did, yep. Did, 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 did you just say something about pissing nipples? <laughs> he yes. said, I believe he exactly yes. said pissing nipples. Yes. Unfortunately, yes. Okay. He said that. I'm like, just... thinking to myself, I'm like, you had to bring that up? Oh my god. <laughs> of course well, I had to bring that up. I'm just going to put the gun in my mouth. And then chomp down, and the gun was made of gummy. That's no. pretty much what I almost did when I read that. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing. You almost ate a gummy gun? Oh, I laughed too. Yes. Yeah. Because we don't advocate for violence. It was a gummy yeah. gun. It was, uh, it was that's right. Gun. We do not advocate for violence. And if you think otherwise, we'll kick your... This is what Billy right. and I are talking about. <laughs> we don't advocate for violence. And if, uh, if you think otherwise, I'm going to fucking kill you! <laughs> <laughs> and, and to be Sorry. honest, I absolutely love this anime because the main character is freaking 32 years old and so relatable. Uh huh. Yes, I too. Uh, my, bo uh -huh. my boobs also gain X. You don't see. <laughs> <laughs> you pee Un out of them? Uncontrollably sometimes. No, I do piss not. Piss out my nips! I, uh, no, I do not. I piss out my ass like a normal human being. <laughs> like a normal human being. I am a normal human being. I am normal human. I piss out my ass. I piss out my ass. I am human. Uh, I am Ooh, uh, human. Could you could you rocket jump up to that weapon up there? Uh, what weapon up where? Uh, like right behind you, right there. See it floating. Uh, I'm assuming I'll probably get to that later. I think that's just a quad, a quad nail gun, which I already have. I'm not really. Um, in uh, fact, I'm using it. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, it's the quad laser. Quad laser. It will amaze you. Right. Some uh. Somebody, Sounds like a uh, Royal Republic song. <laughs> yeah. Uh, at the end of this magazine, they have like uh, they have cosplay pictures. We got yeah. laser um, love. So they somebody is dressed as a Sailor Moon Mandalorian. I've seen mm -hmm. that. I think it might be feasible to ju rocket jump up to that. 
Yeah. Worth it because it gave me so much health. I like going to anime cons and seeing some of the cosplayers, especially the women, because there's, there's a lot of hot women that go to anime conventions. A I mean, lot. I just like going to conventions. They're fun. I've I mean, never, I, I've never been. Go. I've never been to a convention. Oh, hi there. You went, you went to, did you go to Horror Hound? Oh, yeah, I guess I did go to a convention. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I forgot about oh, Horror yeah. Hound. This is, That's the only one is, I've ever been to. Ever. This is Moist Critical. Um... Uh, next time you go to a convention, uh, if it smells like gym socks and failure, um, that's the neck beards. <laughs> yeah, I always, I have a, I have rules when it comes to conventions. The number one rule is bathe. If, that, if, you got it, if it's a one day con, shower the night before or the day of and wear plenty of deodorant. That's second rule. Shower every day. Shower every day after the con. If you're staying the weekend yeah. there. Rule number two, don't uh, go naked. That's frowned upon. No. Rule number three, um, don't lick your cooch. Like your own cooch? Unless unless, unless I have a camera to videotape it. So uh, somebody else's cooch? What? I don't... Mike... Just don't, just don't do it, okay? Just don't do it. All right, I won't lick my own cooch. I, I, I don't know how that's possible. The rule, my rules I, I go by is I don't even have number one, one hygiene. Hygiene is key. Hygiene. Number two. Hello. Number hygiene, two. Number two. Hygiene, the hygiene machine. Number two, consent. Always ask permission to take a photo. Yeah, because, All right. you know, sometimes people want to pose. You know, they want um, to strike a pose. There's nothing to it. Whoa, and and uh, a subsection of that is if you want your picture taken with the cosplayer, <laughs> and you want to do Hitachi. a certain pose. Oh, if they want you to touch them, then fine. Hitachi. Which touch me with a seems Hitachi. they always want. It seems they always want me to touch them. So you know that's. Oh, Billy Carter, <laughs> or as we like to call you. Big Dog Billy. <laughs> well, as we like to big call Billy. you. Big Billy. As we like to I call you. He, he is Big Billy, the biggest wet willy. He's going to go clearly. Or as we like to call you, Billy Farter. The Billy Farter, yes. Uh, actually, actually, I kind of want to do the whole gang green game thing now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Who is this? Billy. Billy who? Big Billy. Is this supposed to be a prank call? I yes. It's not a very good one. I'm so I'm sorry. The prince Albert in the fridge. <laughs> I, I think one of my favorite things is just the fact that Ace of the Gang Green Gang is technically a member of the Gorillas, briefly. Oh, God, yes. Like, that is that is a canon thing about that um, what, what while, was while uh, Murdoch was uh, incarcerated yeah rule number three bring cash so rule number four there is no rule number four rule number five <clears throat> well rule number four is um, a haggle if you can because sometimes you can get Whoops. a deal I became bored with life apparently Farewell. I always go like this. I always I'll pick a small item and then a larger price item. And if it's a small item that I actually want, I go. I said, uh, if I get this, can you throw this in along with this for such and such? Then a lot of times they'll go, yeah, yeah. Like image anime is cool, but they're also oh, out of New York. There's a weapon which, wheel. That's fucking weird. Like. Unfortunately, regardless of the con you're going to, New York prices. Uh, like, they, they got a lot of one. cool stuff, but shop around at the con before actually spending money because you never know if one table has something cheaper than another uh, table. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you should come to a con in Ohio. You want to talk about uh, cheap? Come to a con in Ohio. 
And we got a lot of them. Hey, Billy. Yeah. Jack, Jack me off. Golden Beaver. I, I had, is that uh, the geek? Yeah, that that is the uh, the jackpot belt, uh, the buckle. Yeah. yeah, I've been watching that. So. Yeah, I I have the Blu-rays. Even though I've already watched the whole series, I've like the I, I am a the Toronto before. Blu-rays. Well, hey, hey, I gotta get going. Uh, dinner's ready. Late uh, dinner, but yeah, dinner's ready. I gotta get going. Congratulations, Billy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Din din time. Din din time. I'll see all of you late, laters. Okay. See you Bye. later. I'll see you for my birthday. So you're not. You're not coming back till October. That's fucked. Nah, I'm gone. <laughs> what a fucked up thing to do. Just gonna, just gonna not come back to the show for approximately fucking six months. <laughs> what a dick bag. No, I'm just kidding. Jesus! There was five of them. Well, six of them. Six months. Yeah. Also, those things pissing out of their mouth at you? Yes. The Scrags. They do that. Well, Scrags are disgusting. I don't yeah. want no Scrags. A Scrag is a Scrag that can't... That's disgusting. What? Oh. Oh. Welcome to Backseat Gamer, home of Wow Infotainment. It's true. We are entertaining and informative. Yep. Like we we taught you about not spending uh, ninety dollars on fucking smart water. Yeah. That would not be smart water. In fact, that would be dumb water. Yeah, it would be dumb water. You, know, you got to be absolutely dumb water to be spending ninety dollars on smart water. Oh, dumb water, keep on rolling. Ninety dollars for a bottle is just insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nail them. Uh, phrasing. No, that's literally <laughs> what you did. Put your dick in him. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, have sex with uh, Dick him. Uh, no. Hot tickables. Hey, nice. That was, that was close. I got an achievement for killing it before it could attack me. That's fucking sweet. Nice. And uh, end of the level. Are you ready for the first boss? I don't know. Uh, we're we're I mean, up at the. We're not even ready for pretty some football. Much, this is the end of episode one of main game. We got a while to go <laughs> before we completely finish Quake. What with all the mission packs and things like that. There, there is so much more quacky to go. Oh yeah, there's a lot of quacky. Lots, lots of quacky. I gotta collect the rune. That's how he appears. That's a wacky new new. Get out of here, Kathon. It's C H T H O N. I don't know how you pronounce that, but I'm pretty sure it's like Kathon. Kathon, yeah, okay. Which is also a Marvel Comics character. By the way, uh, this is the only boss in the game. What a <laughs> lame ass fight. What the? Yeah, pretty lame. He's dead. That didn't take well. long. That was easy. All right, now I'm going to break my legs. That was an underwhelming. All right. <laughs> Complete Quake Episode 1, Dimension of the Doomed, and single player. Yeah, that's literally the only boss in the game that you actually, like, 
directly attack. There's no <laughs> boss in any of the other episodes. Uh, the the and then, Shub. I you know I'm just gonna call him Shub because his actual last name is spelled N U G G U R A T H, or N I G G U R A T H, and I'm not gonna pronounce that or try, because I'm I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> Nigeria Wrath. Yes, Shub Nigeria Wrath. It's, 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 it was HP Lovecraft. What do you want? Yeah. <laughs> he was a horrible, horrible racist. <laughs> I mean, he had an entire story about a uh, scaredy cat yeah. where he used the N word. Hello, I'm HP Lovecraft. N word, N word, N word. That's all I ever <laughs> said. To, to be fair, he also had uh, lots of problems with his brain, thanks to syphilis. What's fucked up is I've heard the pronunciation of, of the Shub mm, character, and it is pretty much how you think it's pronounced. It's pronounced like the N-word. <laughs> so, Shub Cthulhu! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shub Cthulhu Wrath. I, I I think Shub 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 Neighbor Wrath or Shub Nigeria Wrath, Shub Neighbor Wrath because it has the same number. So Jim Neighbors Wrath. <laughs> Jim, Jim Neighbors. Yes, the final boss of Quake is Jim Neighbors. <laughs> Why am I the final boss of this game? That's crazy. Uh, second episode. Yes, that's what I want. Much like Doom One, we finished the first episode of Quake. In, within the confines of an episode of the first episode <laughs> the, the first episode yeah hey, 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 hey. and much like doom you have to start over collecting weapons Whoops. every episode so get ready for fun and the first episode of every uh first level of every episode is a is like this little tech based thing and then it transports you to a world I do not Isn't have that lovely? the gold key cared the gold kit cured I do not have the gold kit cured die Play dead. Play dead, puppy. The, the, the gold uh, Kirkland's best. Potato. It's because I'm Irish, isn't it? <laughs> P, as in the Irish potato famine, which killed six million Irish people. We don't, uh, we don't like talking about that. Please how, don't talk about that. How about that portal, huh? <laughs> what portal? <laughs> the, the portal in New York to Ireland. Oh, yeah, the portal to Dublin. Uh, um, the first thing I saw of a video of that was somebody in Dublin sh displaying a picture of 9-11 on the <laughs> portal. And then I think uh, it got shut down after somebody in New York flashed the portal cam. B both sides. Yeah. They were they were equally trolling each other. Guess what, everyone? This is why we can't have nice things. So what you might be saying then is that they were, if they were both sides were doing it, they were doubling the titties. <laughs> wow. I'll see myself out. Yeah. I mean, like I I would have taken full advantage of that and been like, you know, so pull check my cock out. out. Fans. No, I'm just kidding. More of this right here. <laughs> You want I mean, back? considering what we saw when we walked down the Avenue of Americas, when we were there, like, oh, it's, it's whatever. New Yorkers barely bat an eyelash at it. Yeah. I literally saw a guy dart between cars pulling up his pants like he was just pissing in the street. I'm like, yep, yeah, that must be New York for pissing you. Pissing in the street! Yeah, David Bowie and Mick oh, Jagger's just, favorite uh, song. That was, just piss, that was just Piss Pants Jokes. Oh, Piss Pants Jones. Oh, it was nice to meet him. I wish I could yeah. have stayed longer and, and, and talked to him a little bit, but he was busy shaking his dong. <laughs> well, that's that's how he gets the, the pee residue. Right? Yeah. That's how it works, yeah. Shaking his dong. Basically. Does it sound? Dong. No. 
that one. Yeah. <laughs> I found a secret area. <laughs> you found that motherfucking secret. I am much more relaxed now playing this than I was playing Project Warlock Two. Yeah, you were having you were having a conniption fit. I was having a time, and I don't. I wouldn't like call I said, it a good I one. already uh, I already sent a message to uh, Tiffany going. Found a new rage game for you. Oh, I'm sure she'll enjoy that. So yeah. after watching you die in the same place for an hour straight, it's like, oh, she, she's going to have a conniption. <laughs> Damn it, Jason, why did you suggest this to me? <laughs> like, you're welcome. Then again, I did, I did gift her another rage game not too long ago. Jump King. Ooh. It's it's another one of those games that's meant to be impossibly hard, but still beatable. It's a game where you can only jump, depending on like how long you hold down the button for it determines your jump. And you have to like angle your jumps. I knew the fiend was gonna jump across, so so I didn't bother shooting the other one yet. Just extend as a drawbridge. Just make it easier for the fiend to hit me. I shot that because I wanted to. I shot a man just to watch him die. Thank you, Johnny Cash. You're well. Hello, what I'm have Johnny Cash. I become my Swedish friend. Bork, bork. My empire of dirt. I wear this crown of shit. <laughs> That's the actual lyric. <laughs> it's not the one Johnny it's, it's, Cash sang, but that is the actual lyric. It, it's just funny that we're referencing a Nine Inch Nails song while playing this. While game. playing Quake, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of unavoidable. There's ammo <laughs> boxes everywhere with the Nine Inch Nails logo on them. That's a terrible lie. And now I'm just being reminded of uh, this old Flash animation uh, behind the music that sucks, where they uh, were making fun of behind the music episodes. Ooh. It's uh, Trent Reznor born in a uh, Home Depot. <laughs> Terrible. Head like a troll. I'm not being known. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm out of control. Come on, people. This shit's gold. <laughs> Head like a whore. Black as your soul. Head, he Head like a whore. Black as your sore. Head like a whore. <laughs> If you're, if you're yeah, sore, that's 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 when you go to the Japanese karaoke bar and you hear somebody doing it, nine inch nails, head like a whore. I want to walk you, you, you like an animal. And the next song is just old skinny popping. <laughs> old, <laughs> old night, night and day. day. <laughs> Seriously, I want to see a freaking Japanese businessman drunk off his ass trying to sing that song. On skinny bottle, no need of fuck. <laughs> Gr granted, <laughs> Scatman was really popular in Japan. He was. I would be more likely to see a Japanese person doing Scatman on stage. I'm the Scatman. He probably still would have been producing music to this day if he hadn't passed away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what, welcome you to Scatman's world. He looks like the, the micro-machines guy. You know, we, we probably would have world peace if Scatman hadn't passed away. It's true. God, I can't believe we're in the darkest timeline where Scatman... Like, Harambe would still be alive if Scatman hadn't died. It's true. Oh, I thought Harambe was the catalyst. Turns out Scatman John is the catalyst. Well, that, that's the oh, title no. of this episode now. Scott Man John is the cat. Yep. Oh, skinny. I, I watched a whole uh, 
documentary about him, actually, recently. As I say, <laughs> you're on top where, where of Where was the sound? <laughs> I Found actually it. have... I have to audition somebody on Zoom, so I'll talk to you guys later. All right. We only got a few minutes left anyway, so that's fine. Bye, everybody. Boy. Bye. And then, and then there were two. two, but not for long because this episode's almost over. <laughs> he ragdolled. He ragdolled a little bit there. Episode one. Fun. Yeah, get fucked. Oh, I love this. Yo. <laughs> what the, the fuck the, noise the, was that? The gibbing it sound like effect. Like, Yo. <laughs> yeah, the gibbing the gibbing sound effect in this game is pretty satisfying, I will say. Actually, I think that's probably a good place to stop. Thank you guys for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dan Ford, Joan, Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time.